Welcome to Deep Learning with TensorFlow video course by Pact Publishing. My name is Dan Van Boxel, an engineer with 10 years of data mining and machine learning experience. I live stream my experiences with machine learning software weekly at Dan Does Data on YouTube and Twitter. My background is in civil engineering and mathematics, where I've published several modeling papers on topics ranging from traffic safety to hydrodynamic stress. I'm active in the open source community and have contributed to multiple projects, including TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a new machine learning and graph computation library recently released by Google. Its Python interface allows elegant design of common models, while the compiled backend ensures speed. This video provides a glimpse of the techniques we'll learn and models we'll build as we apply TensorFlow. This course is divided into sections of related videos. Each section will focus on a particular type of model in TensorFlow, often building on work of previous sections. Section 1 shows you how to install TensorFlow and build a simple classification model. Section 2 introduces neural networks and deep learning, developing them in the TensorFlow framework for the modeling problem. In Section 3, we learn about and apply convolutional neural networks, a popular technique appropriate for image-based classification. Section 4 demonstrates how to handle time series problems with recurrent neural networks. It also introduces a simplified interface to TensorFlow. Finally, Section 5 reveals the models you built for the classification problem and describes how you can make the most of TensorFlow. Over the course of this series, you will learn how to use TensorFlow on a novel research problem. We'll study images of letters and digits in various fonts with the goal of identifying the font based on a single image of a single letter. This is a straightforward classification problem with data unique to this course. As no single pixel or position is important, but rather local structures among pixels, it's an ideal problem for deep learning with TensorFlow. Though we'll start with simple models, this series gradually introduces more nuanced approaches and explains code line by line. By the end, you'll have created your own advanced model for font recognition. While this course will show you how to install TensorFlow, there are a few dependencies. At a minimum, you'll need a recent version of Python 2 or 3 and NumPy. To get the most out of the course, you should also have Matplotlib and IPython. And even if you're unable to install these, the next video shows you how to use TensorFlow entirely online. So put on your helmets. We're going deep into the data mines with TensorFlow.